So you're moving to the Baltimore metro area and you have a $450,000 budget. Maybe you looked in Howard County and it was too expensive. You're looking for a nice neighborhood with a lot of amenities, close to the city, but not too close. You should really look at Catonsville. In this episode, we're gonna talk about all of the Catonsville market data. We're gonna talk about all the different types of real estate that you can find in Catonsville. And we're also gonna talk about, circle back, talk about what you can find for $450,000 in Catonsville. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. I'm here with Josh, Rushmere, Nick. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Dylan. How's it going? How's it going? Why do you guys love Catonsville? Well, life is great in 21228. I mean, you see it in the bumper stickers. It's a it's a great community. And personally, I like it because every weekend I go to H Mart and Latte and, you know, hit up the Korean barbecue places and the pho spots. And it's, you know, that's that's the reason why I like it. But. Yeah, it's close to the city, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a great place to raise a family. It has all the wonderful food spots to eat at. They have this wonderful ice cream shop that I absolutely love. Ron, you should know about it. It's called Opie's. <laughs> <laughs> You making fun of my name, Ron Howard? Yes. <laughs> uh, I love Catonsville just because of the community feel in general. I mean, they have plenty of festivals and events, uh, not to mention the 4th of July parade coming up soon. Weren't you the grandmaster of that parade last year? Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can wear a big hat and they give me a wand sometimes. With the flag, weren't you the, like the, the, the flag waver? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, Catonsville's great. It's like it's hometown America. I love uh, Catonsville because uh, Patapsco State Park. Mm -hmm. I've been mountain biking there since high school. Which is only just ten years ago, really? really? <laughs> you, look good, you look good for you look good for like thirty less than that, twenty seven. Yeah, no, late late eighties. Um, so I, you know, I have spent over the last however many years, a lot, lot of years, twenty five plus years, I've been going to Catonsville regularly. Um, you, you know, through Patapsco State Park, and it's really a gem for this area. Um, when you get lost in Patapsco State Park, it feels like you're in like California or somewhere because it's just a whole different kind of feel deep yep. in that valley and the river and the, the woods. It's great. Um, all right, let's jump in the data. So we're dealing like Catonsville is just like every other uh, community, city, neighborhood around here. We're, we're having inventory issues, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, right where we stand today compared to this time last year, listings are down 30%. So, you know, you see all the news articles saying inventory issues and, you know, Catonsville is no different than anybody anywhere else. Yeah, like right now we have about 44 new listings on the market in Catonsville. Yeah, and last year at this time it was 64 in May. Yeah, yes. so down down 30%. Um, new pendings are down 10%. Uh, and and uh, closed sales are um, just down like 5%. And then month over month from April 2023, to this month, it's up 46%. So, I mean, that tells us it's it's getting closer to normal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For sure. I think, you know, what's what's going on right now in the market is buyers are feeling a little discouraged because of low inventory and high interest rates. So what we're starting to see is a little bit of the market catching up to, you know, what the what the demand is saying. The supply and demand, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you start the year, they're talking about, I mean, the whole industry was talking about 7% yeah. interest rates. Like uh, prices are going to come down, you know, because buyers aren't going to be in the market. But nobody really thought about like the inventory issue that we mm -hmm. were running into. People with the low interest rates aren't ready to move unless you really have to move. Yeah. Keep the inventory low. But in this in May, it's starting to catch up. It's starting to be normal. What you say, Josh? Correct. Yeah. So, um, again, five year average for Gainesville is 69. Uh, we're currently at 44. Um, and it's up month over month, 46. Um so yeah, we're starting to see that trend go back up. So forty six percent, forty six percent correct. New listings month over month, which you, you know. So uh, yeah, it's like things are finally starting to feel. feel you know, for, and then one of the things we, we've been dealing with is um, a lot of buyers have just decided to rent for a year. So you're like hoping that some of these um, people that couldn't get into a house earlier in the spring or like month to month and can come back into the market because there might be more opportunities late summer, right? Yeah, especially, the, you know, the dog days of summer, they call it that for a reason. You know, everybody's on vacation and getting ready for fall, especially if you have kids. So people who are kind of primed and doing that month to month thing and are still kind of looking I mean, summer is really kind of a good time to snap things up because the the spring kind of you know started the hot markets cooled down come July and August anyways. So in May in Catonsville, the average days on market is fifteen. Mm -hmm. the, the the five year average uh, days on market is fifteen. Right now we're at fifteen, which is yeah. a very low amount. 
What about the original list price to uh, sales price? Well, it's 105%. So for people who don't know what OLP original list price is, is say you list your house for $100,000, you're getting contracts at 105000 So, you know, comparatively, Catonsville has always been a really strong market with that. The five-year average is 102%. So realistically, you know, what you see as a list price is often what it's going to at least sell for. So it's always been consistently over at least five years, a really strong market. So let's get into the types of real estate you can find in Catonsville. And one of the things that uh, Rushmore, I think you said you, you like about it is um, with buyers, you you can have you have a very low uh, barrier of entry into the neighborhood, up, upwards of a, of a million, right? Right, right, right. So like in neighborhoods like Academy Heights, it's like a townhome neighborhood of row homes, and you can get in there, put a low twos up to like three fifty, and that would get you like three bedroom, one and a half bath home, oh twelve hundred square feet. Okay, so yeah, let's so let's so Academy Heights is definitely in that so entry level. There's mm-hmm. some other neighborhoods that that are, that are popular. So like you're moving into Catonsville, you're uh, what's the low end of of pricing look like? Uh, low low two hundreds. <clears throat> you can certainly get a townhouse. You know, low two hundreds. You're gonna get one that's not so renovated, refreshed, and then once you get up to maybe like. The higher threes, you're going to see more renovated homes. Yeah. You know, you got, more uh, bedroom Douglas count. Douglas Park and uh, mm-hmm. Mount, Ridge Mount Ridge and neighborhoods. And there's that, and those are and to describe the actual type of real estate, you're looking at these older 1950s, 1960s brick front row homes. You know, when you do have, if you stretch that budget a little bit more into say the 350s, the 400s, you can get newer townhomes in what I call like the hills and the mills. So you have like College Hills, Ellicott Mills, and Bryan Mills. Those are all like newer, you know, by newer, I mean like 90s, but townhomes that are a little bit bigger, 1,600 square feet, three bed, two bath, um, you know, all in really good locations. So you know, you're looking at that as kind of an entry level thing. You're looking, you have a really, really wide range of price. Right. Next next step up, larger houses. You mm-hmm. get into some single families, nicer townhomes. What, what, what price range are we talking there? Say, like I said, three fifty. I think to like the four hundreds and fives. Wow, you know, you have five, like definitely. you have Caton's. Um, you have like Westchester, which are like the older kind of nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties ranch rambler style mm-hmm. homes that are like three bed, two bath. That you know, and you can get for like four hundreds. Catonsville Heights, mm-hmm. um, Elkett Mills is a popular yep. one that, yep. that that you talked about. Um, okay, so um, towards the higher price points. Uh, you know, like 500 plus, what, what, what can you get and what, what neighborhoods are, are popular in that area? You're looking at like single family homes and the lower fives up to the 700s and like the College Hill community and Patapsco Woods. Yeah. And especially too, the one thing about Catonsville was, you know, it was an originally like a, uh, a summer community for the wealthier in Baltimore. So you have like old town Ellicott City with these really beautiful grand Victorian homes, these five bedrooms, you know, wrap around porches and you can get those as well in that same in that same budget from like the 600s to you know even like the 800s depending on you know how well maintained how well preserved the homes are the other the other thing too there's a lot of uh listings in catonsville that don't affiliate with a neighborhood or subdivision Mm -hmm. that that are just listed as catonsville i mean a a huge volume of of listings that you see don't actually affiliate with a, a particular neighborhood um what about outliers? I mean, it pretty much tops out like around a million, right, in, in Catonsville? Mm-hmm. Like just under a million? Yes. Yeah, I think there's a house right now under contract uh, in Oak Forest for about 900000 Okay. It's yeah. currently pending. It's like the height of what, what we're seeing right yeah. right now. Okay, well, let's circle back and talk about 450. What can you get in Catonsville for 450? A uh, single, you know, single family detached home, um, maybe around 2,500, 3,000 square foot. Something Four newer. bedroom. A little if for single family definitely on the older exactly. side like i said like 1960s kind of split level ranch rambler style three bed two maybe two and a half if you want to go the detached route um if you want to go the townhome route and some of the newer communities like i had mentioned um you can definitely for 450 get something that's you know really nice and new definitely some updates you know three bed two bath 1600 square feet so you can get a really nice uh townhome in catonsville mm-hmm. in, a, in a bunch of different neighborhoods at yes. the 450 yeah price the, point, right? the options aren't really super limited in catonsville in terms of like the style or you know type of housing that you can get for sure awesome awesome 
So Josh, Rushmere, Nick, we're all real estate agents with the Greatest Moves team. We work in the Baltimore metro area. We love Catonsville for a lot of different reasons. Uh, Rushmere likes Opie's ice cream. Uh, I know she wanted to make fun of me this whole episode, uh, but it's okay because I've been made fun of my whole life with the Ron Howard name. So you can call, <laughs> call me Opie moving forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're looking in Catonsville or any of the cities, neighborhoods, communities around the metro area, which would include Howard County, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, Baltimore City, love to help you in this description on top of all the market data that we just talked about. We're going to show you a three year running total. Then we also have a buyer resource center and a seller resource center to give you some ideas, quick ideas on valuations of your properties or a whole library of how to prepare to buy a house. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next episode. Take care.